Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a review of the PYD Life hat heat press. You can see it right here. Uh, it came really well packaged and we're going to look at this together. So I'm going to flip around the camera and sh show you uh, how to use the unit. Okay, I wanted to tell you a few of the features of this machine and I've used it to already press uh, three different hats. So you can see uh, this one right here. Uh, this one is cooling right now. And then this one right here. And then here are some other ones that I'm going to try. And then I've also done another one that was just an existing hat that I had that the patch was coming off, so I used it to press it down. And if you've ever used a hat press, most of these things will um, be second nature to you. But for me, who is new to hat pressing, um, I find this unit to be extremely easy to use. And I'll show you a few of the items that I really like. First of all, it's a really solidly built unit. It's very heavy, um, I guess made of steel, uh, and it comes packaged very well. And so color scheme looks good. Maybe not as manly as uh, I would like, but uh, it will do just fine. And I want to show you a few of the features of this. First of all, it's super simple to use. Basically, you have, I don't know if you can see this, um, it's flittering, but basically you set your temperature here, up and down, set. Then it goes to seconds. You set your time, up and down, set. And then when you close down your, your arm, it automatically starts the timer. So um, you'll know that, you know, you'll get a beat whenever it's time for you to take it off. So I found the heating element to be very um, good and consistent. Uh, it does come with two platens as well. This is an 80 millimeter. I think this is a 95 millimeter, I guess, for bigger hats. Uh, so that's really nice that it came with that. So again, uh, temperature seems to be very consistent. Does a really nice job in uh, fitting to the hats. Um, this bottom platen seems to be uh, the perfect size. The use of it and the functionality is very good. Uh, this right here is your hat stretcher, so I'll show you in a second how uh, that works. And then your pressure knob is actually under here. Let's see if you can see that. I'll get around to the other side. But this is a pressure knob right there, and you'll use that to uh, tighten up the tension on your, you know, your lever to make sure that you have enough pressure uh, for whatever it is you're trying to do. Power button on the back, 110 volt, um, lights up, um, you know, really easy to use. Um, and it just makes a really good final product. I don't think you could go wrong with uh, this particular hat press, especially for the cost. I, I think it's a great value and I don't think you'll be uh, disappointed at all. And so basically what you'll do is just as a demo, you'll put this hat in, I'm trying to do this one-handed, and then you'll, You'll pull out your your uh, rash guard or whatever that is, and then back here, underneath, you have the lever that you put it underneath, and then you pull that down to tighten it. You straighten it up, straighten it up, and then you'll have to do. Uh, I don't have my paper. Uh, that I used to cover it up, but you want to definitely put something over the top of this. And the first thing that you'll do before you put your uh, emblem actually on there is you want to see where it falls. And so you want to make sure that um, that it's falling down over the area that you actually want and it's not getting too much onto the brim. So that's a little high. So I'll tilt it back a little more. Make sure it's straight. Now I'll bring it down. And then you'll pre-press for 15 to 20 seconds just to get the moisture out. Now, I'm, I'm playing as though I don't have a emblem on there currently. Uh, that's what you would do before you actually put on the uh, patch or whatever you were using. And then you'll put on your patch and with your adhesive and then you'll uh, tape it down. And I just find that makes a really good final product. I'm really excited about the potential of, you know, see if I can get this off. I'm really excited about the potential of making my own hats, making my own uh, stockings for Christmas, for friends and family, uh, and for uh, making things for my business to sell. So uh, it does a wide variety of different um, applications. This is what I'm doing right here. This is uh, Gemini Duo Mark, um, you know, uh, material. It's, it's a plastic um, type of material and it looks like walnut, you can see. Um, so, I'm very pleased with this machine. I definitely look forward to it. It comes with great instructions, as you can see right here. Um, lays everything out, talks about all the different parts of the uh, machine, how to use a control panel, um, how to print your first hat, which is really nice. Uh, Premium parameters, some uh, frequently asked questions, things that 
might not come out correct, it gives you some ideas for how to adjust your unit. Um, so all in all, it was a great package. It comes with, again, the machine itself, very well packaged. Uh, your instructions, it comes with this piece of material that you can use to cover your, your uh, patches as you're putting them on. And two platens, it's fitted with the 80 millimeter, and then it also comes with the um, 95 millimeter as well. So um, if you're looking for a hat press, I really don't think you can go wrong. Uh, looks really, really nice. And I look forward to making many more hats with this. Thank you.